As we stand on the brink of yet another high-stakes ICC tournament in the cricketing calendar, the discussions and conversations surrounding Virat Kohli's inclusion in India's T20 World Cup squad has reached a crescendo. There have been statements going around how Virat can just be the force of promoting cricket in different parts of the world when it comes to T20 cricket. Social media platforms and mainstream media alike have become battlegrounds where opinions clash and conjectures are rampant. Hello everyone and welcome to the International Cricket Network ICN360. Here's your host and analyst Yash Khandor. Today I'm here to talk to you about a topic that's extremely close to my heart. A topic that is extremely sensitive and a topic that is extremely hot in the cricketing fraternity right now. At the heart of this maelstrom lies a very fundamental and a very simple question. What is Virat's role in the evolving landscape of T20 cricket? Detractors may argue that his style of batsmanship may no longer fit the bill for, say, the extremely fast-paced and explosive demands of the format. Yet, amidst all these doubt and doubters, I feel there remains a uh, steadfast belief in Kohli's enduring value. The fact that he's a bank, a bank that is full of runs, a bank that is full of potential to do the unthinkable when the chips are down, a bank that will always hold the fort and drop the anchor when the times are tough just so that everybody around him can flourish. Beyond purely, say, the statistics and the record books lies the real essence of what Virat Kohli represents. A stalwart of the game, a foundation on which the teams are built, a beacon of consistency in an ever-changing game. He may not be your swashbuckling aggressor who trailblazes right from ball number one, but his presence alone commands a lot of respect from each and every one and also shapes the very fabric of the team that he plays for. I can go on and on about how great Virat Kohli is and what he brings to the table, etc. However, I'm not here to talk about how good Virat is. I'm not here to talk about if he should be a part of the playing 11 or not and why he should be a part or why he should not be a part of the playing 11. However, what I'm here to talk about is the idiosyncrasies of the discussions, the media coverages, the debates happening around Virat's role in the upcoming T20 World Cup in the Caribbean and the US. Amidst all the clatter that you hear, I think one recognizes a clear, deep sense of discomfort, a lack of cohesion that exists between the selection committee or the selectors, the captain and the coaches. The absence of a clear vision, a clear direction, uh, a unified strategy around what does the formation of the team look like? How is going to be the approach of the Indian cricket team in the upcoming T20 World Cup? I think it has left the door for speculations uh, and discord wide open. In this vacuum of ownership slash leadership, Virat is affected. His reputation hangs precariously. Imagine the greatest white ball cricketer of our generation is becoming a pawn in the game of conjecture. Roy E. Disney, a nephew of Walt Disney, he once said, it is not hard to make hard decisions if you know what your values are. However, the problem that we are in today is that in the current Indian selection management, clarity seems to elude us and decisions are clouded by ambiguity. The air is thick with all the insinuations going around. And all of this is fueled by a media frenzy that is extremely and purely eager to capitalize on controversy. Just in an attempt to like gather as many views as possible, get as much engagement on social media as possible, people across the board, across the cricketing fraternity and beyond are making very irresponsible and baseless baseless allegations and speculations uh, about Virat Kohli's position in the Indian cricket team. While social media, I understand, is, say, a wild, wild west and, like, so we can't really regulate and control it, what about mainstream media? Unfortunately, mainstream media has let their guard down as well and they have lowered their standards to a point where they've started running with agenda-driven coverage only to garner more audience engagement and TRP. I honestly believe all of this is avoidable if the concerned authorities can simply stamp their foot down and take a call on Virat's future when it comes to the Indian cricket team for the T20 World Cup and in general T20s going forward. All I want to say is, Mr. Ajit Agarkar, if you strongly believe 
that this Indian cricket team is going on the, that is going on this flight to the US should be purely filled with youngsters that play say a certain brand of T20 cricket that Virat Kohli does not just make that call and clear the air i think the need for decisive leadership cannot be overstated and is the most important need of the hour history they say is our best teacher isn't it and i think today i am reminded of dhoni's gambit from the 2007 20 world cup all the seniors the heroes from the country were left out and a very young team that played a certain brand of cricket that resonated with the personality of dhoni the captain took the field all the eyes were on dhoni the selectors and the young indian cricket team honestly if you are, i think all the guns were loaded and they were all pointed towards dhoni everybody was just waiting for this team to falter once and they would have all come for dhoni's throat there were millions of unhappy discontented dissatisfied angry indian cricket fans however a decision was made a very hard decision that defied convention was made and ultimately today we know as the legend says is that it ultimately paved way for a new era in indian cricket it was a testament of the courage of conviction a willingness to embrace change in the face of uncertainty and adversity dhoni and the selectors at that time i think trusted their own beliefs they trusted their own processes and did not really care about the end result this liberation or liberating themselves from the pressure of the end goal i think liberated them to a point where they were so fresh and this refreshing freshness with which the team played helped them win the world cup in 2007 however in the present moment it's exactly the opposite that's what it seems like there seems to be a hesitancy a reluctance to confront the unknown to make the tough calls this reluctance only serves to exaggerate the uncertainty breeding discontent and like disillusionment not just for the fans but also for the players within the team alike the way i see this current situation honestly is not a question of virat's pedigree or virat's prowess or virat's greatness i think it is a question of principle it is about honoring the legacy of a champion from your country while also making sure that you are charting the path forward for the indian cricket it is about making that hard choice or the hard choices for that matter irrespective of what the public opinion is or what your personal bias is if you ask me personally i'm a huge virat kohli fan right and so as a virat kohli fan i can actually take the fact that virat kohli did not get picked for the t20 world cup squad for the t20 like the 2024 2020 world cup in the caribbean since the brand of cricket that he plays does not align with the brand of cricket that the team wants to play However what i cannot really fathom or digest is the fact that somebody makes a blanket statement out of nowhere saying virat did not make it to the squad because virat is not good enough to make it to the indian side i think the decision around virat's inclusion or exclusion into the uh, t20 world cup side should be more of a preference based on the balance of the side and the approach and the brand of cricket that the side wants to play versus the ability of the man I mean with over what he has 12000 plus runs in T20 international cricket close to 14000 runs in ODI cricket he has 60 centuries in white ball cricket I think across the board including IPL his average is around 42 and a strike rate of 135 in T20s I don't think there is any question around the ability of the man anyway I can go on on and on about this but I think I want to close this out with a very succinct uh message that i want to give from a true indian cricket fan or a true cricket fan all i want to say is pick or don't pick but don't ever doubt virat this man is like gold the more he is hammered the finer he becomes let us remember that the true test of leadership lies not in appeasing the public opinion but in standing firm in the face of adversity whether virat kohli finds himself in the playing 11 or not I think his legacy is very well defined and well established and his legacy as one of the greatest to have played the game remains undisputed. While we want to pursue that our future in T20 cricket is different as a cricketing team and a cricketing nation, let's not diminish the greatness of an all-time legend just so that we can play it safe for ourselves and protect ourselves in lieu of a very hard decision. that we really want to make but are afraid to make given the consequences or the backlash that you're going to get 
And I think I say this because in if I was to put all of this into one line, all I would say is, in the crucible of selection, it is not just a player's fate that hangs in the balance. It is the soul of the game itself. Thank you all for hearing me out. I might have come across as somebody who is ranting purely as being a Virat Kohli fan. But to be very honest with you, whatever I said came straight from the heart and the heart of a cricket fan in general or an Indian cricket fan. What I said right now is something that I feel is extremely important to address if India is to go on to lift that World Cup one more time, so many years after the great day of the 2nd of April in 2011 or whether it was the 2007 T20 World Cup. Once again, thank you everyone for tuning in. Please like, share and subscribe to our International Cricket Network ICN 360 social media channels across Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. And also do visit our website www.icn360.com. Thank you once again and have a good day.